life you do get matched with like 10 people from your mom or your cousins or your siblings or you meet people randomly and you do meet 10 people and all of them just stop talking to you so i'm going to go by the response i get so um she was like all 10 guys just stop talking to me i don't know why all of them just stop talking to me they just chat with me like once or twice or three times and they just stop talking to me and because we tried to before we let you sign up again we try to find out what the issue is because if you've had like 10 matches and they all just stop talking to you, signing you up again without finding what the issue is, is not going to be helpful to anybody. So you're going to go and meet 10 more people, it's going to be the same thing if there's an issue there. So we try to find out, so I was like, do you want to, um, do you want me to get feedback from them? And she's like, yeah, sure, cool. So I get feedback from the guys, I'm like, what's going on? You know, how was this match? And then they were like, she was really boring. She never wanted to talk on the phone. She was always busy. She wanted to chat, but chat-wise, she was really boring. So I got back to her and obviously said this nicely and then let her know that I want to see her chat because um, Elite and VIP, we do, do that chat check. So I said, send me a couple of your chats with these people. Let me see what it's like. And then she sends that to me. And then I see that, you know, her answers are like that, yes and no. So it's like, how's your day? She's like, good. It's like, what are you doing now? She said, go to bed. It's like, you know, her answers was like, we're like that. And then she didn't want to talk on the phone as well. So I asked her, why don't you want to talk on the phone? And she said, okay, because she's shy. I said, okay, cool. And then chat wise, you're, you can't be shy chat wise. So why are you not being engaging at all? And then she just said, well, she just thought that was, you know, that was just how it was for her. That the question they were asking her was just okay to say yes and no. So they're like, um, what are you doing right now? She's like going to bed. So that, that wasn't something she could take long and you know, she would just put that. And I'm like, no, in life, you have to be engaging, you know? So if someone says, what are you doing? Or what are you up to? And you're going to bed, you can say, oh, wow, I'm really tired. My day was long. You know, I'm planning to go to bed right now, but knowing myself, I can lie down in bed and not even fall asleep for the next two hours. You know, how's your own sleeping routine like? like do you go to bed really early? Like, try like throw it back at them as a question, you know? So answer the question, and try, try and ask them a question, you know, as well. So just keep the conversation going. Don't just kind of end it there, you know. So it's, um, we're all different anyway. So we're all trying to learn and be, you know, better at this. So I think to try and get people engaged and talking is something. So what she said when she first, you know, made that complaint, she was like, um, all 10 guys don't talk to me anymore and you know I just think they're not serious and I get that you know, when people say I think they're not serious and that's like a defensive thing like when you say you've met like 10 people like on the platform or off the platform and all of them just stop talking to you because you think they're not serious like out of 10 people I mean a couple of them should be serious right so I always do this test with myself if you go to, through like five dates and none of them are still talking to you, and you think you're not serious, try and picture if you're a Beyonce. Would the result be different, you know, or if you're more engaging, if you're like, you know, speech-wise, or, you know, something else about you, would it be different? So instead of thinking it's with the, it has to do with the person or with the people, actually, you know, try and also look at yourself, especially when the numbers are high. So if it's like, I meet one or two people, I'm gonna be like, well, y'all are crazy. But if you meet like 10 people, you have to look, I mean, even with your friendships, if you have 20 friends and 10 of them stop talking to you, you have to look at it like, did I do something wrong? Did something happen? I'm not gonna say all 10 of your friends are just crazy and mad and not serious, you know? So try and also look at if, you know, the reason could be from you. It just helps us to be better versions of ourselves. And of course, when she knew this about herself, she decided to learn how to text more and then she took advantage of the chat chat uh, the chat check more <laughs> the chat check <laughs> so she took advantage of the chat check more and you know send it to us and then we would send it back to you and say okay this is just too boring i wouldn't want to chat with someone that was like this because it's just it takes an art to chat properly you know but i always tell people try and talk on the phone more you can kind of just get the mannerisms there you can read the person's tone it just gives you a whole like 5d experience of that conversation as opposed to chatting where you get like a 2d experience of that conversation
because you can't hear the person's tone. You don't know if the person is happy or angry. So you might just, you know, so I prefer people talk 